Hi everyone, this is a quick video showing how to use the VS Code integration uh, that's going on the Asset Store as well as on uh, GitHub. So here we go. So um, you bring it in, you'll just have this one file here. Uh, in your Assets menu, you'll have this VS Code folder or sub menu. And all you got to do is click Enable Integration. And what that's going to do is it's going to change your external tools to uh, your relevant install and set up these configurations as well. So then all I need to do, let's say I just wanted to edit that file, I just double click and it's going to open it up for me, as well as it's going to load the projects and scrub the files so that uh, OmniSharp doesn't have an issue with them. And so what I'm also going to do here is show off the debugging process. So in the config here, I am going to turn on uh, logging to console. Uh, and this just kind of gives out some debug information into the Unity console. So when I hit play here, it's going to tell me that it found the port. And it'll have written that port over into uh, the setting, or not the settings, the launch uh, JSON here. Now to just do some debugging. Uh, oh wait, I've already got some breakpoints sitting in here. So uh, I'm just going to go over to this little tab here hit play on here, it's going to connect in, and it's going to stop where my cursor is, and let's add a breakpoint up here, and we'll just skip over, there we go. Uh, so ideally we'd want to be able to mouse over and see the value of these and the watches aren't showing, but uh, for now, you can actually scroll down and find the non-public member, and you can see the timestamp there, and let's keep iterating a bit. So the next one, and I can see it should be going up if I'm correct. How about it got up a bit? I guess it, guess it hadn't gone through the iteration. There we go. Then we're done. You hit stop. And this is where it gets interesting. Sometimes, there we go, so it sent a stop signal to Unity, so I should be able to go back here. Um, but, not in this case. <laughs> this is the bug of all bugs. Uh, let me close this. Force quit. Uh, so we're going to ignore that. And we will just start up Unity again. And we're going to blank this out so you can't see all these other projects. Alright, so we're back over here. And you can see now um, there's some other options in here. Uh, open the project just manually opens the project in VS Code. Nothing fancy there. Um, it does a sync of the project files. Um, the other thing is the right workspace settings. This just writes out a default set of ignores into these settings here. There's just a whole bunch of stuff that you don't need, and I just dumped out one for you there. All right, there you go. That is how it works.